doing hey guys welcome back to another video how are you doing welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey hi welcome my name is lillian and of course hit the subscription button if you have not already okay. you my ogs hi compliments of the season i'm so glad to have you around how are you doing i wish you the very best of the year okay i just want to share some of the things i really love in ghana some of the government agencies in ghana that i really love some of the government parasatas in ghana that i really love the way they do things and that makes me love is this time of the year again where I like to give my opinion about some things in Ghana and the public services in Ghana that I love. Today I'm going to tell you guys some of the my favorite sector of the Ghanaian government that I really like. Things that are permanent like government parasitas are main. Ah, I love the Ghanaian police a lot. So I love the Ghanaian police because they are no nonsense. They are very disciplined. As I'm talking about them now, if I fuck up, they'll come for me. I'm like that. No nonsense, no mercy, no favorite. You do, you collect. <laughs> so I like them for that. I still have not forgotten what they did to Chatawali in 2021. Hey, Chata, I'm a big fan. But I think what they did to you was good. <laughs> Just to use you to set an example so that other people like me that are watching you, that are following you, would not do that. So that is what I say. Good for you, okay? That's what I mean. So I like the Ghanaian police. And uh, not see my recent video where I talked about the Afrochala issue, where phones were stolen from people, and where the Ghanaian police were able to track the guy that stole an American artist phone that wants to ruin the reputation of Ghana was tracked and arrested and all the phones that were stolen during the afro chala and afro nation were all recovered and handed back to their owners as long as you are able to identify your phone it was given back to you free of charge so ghana police have been coming through i have like i like them a lot i like how they look physical appearance i like the fact that they look very serious in their uniform and they look very clean and very very organized and always on point and when you see them you'll be scared for nothing except if your conscience is clean your hands are clean if your conscience is clear and your hands are clean that's the only time you see ghana police and you know be you not be afraid sometimes they are so arrogant that they walk with a dog you know that security dog they do like the american police and when you see they are healthy looking, most of the time they are young guys. I don't know if they ask them to gain weight, go to the they go to the gym. Okay, so I like the Ghanaian police a lot. The Ghanaian police service, I like them. They are my number one. Number two on the line is the education sector in Ghana. It is to die for. I like the fact that you know, see education all over the world is very good okay but i like how it is done in ghana the only thing that confuses me here is the fact that during the covid 19 uh immediately after the covid 19 they started their first term in january instead of september as always but that is fine it's good we keep us to you know that every year your child goes to you just know that every january your child is going to the next class so i like that but then what i like the most about the education system in ghana is the fact that even after secondary school you are good to go there's a the, the focus is very much on secondary school in ghana that's high school the focus is very much there it's like you know people pushing from the bottom then you get to the middle you put a lot of effort then you get to the top you do it gradually that is how it is done here with secondary school in ghana you are considered educated going from north i mean going from js3 to ss1 here in ghana is like going from wayek to the uni is like writing jam and going to uni from that ss1 you are equipped to the last like you are equipped so well that you come out confident and very very okay sound enough to be fit 
to fend for yourself if you can make it to the uni. So I like the fact that the focus is very much in the middle. That's the secondary school. From the primary is good, uni is good. Let's talk about, okay, fine. Yeah, the focus is very much there, but let's talk about uni. In uni here in Ghana, some of the universities, some of the campuses that have visited, you see they have provision. They do like, they have amenities for the students here. They have like hair salon, they have like a fashion shop, they have like a food boutique. They have things done, the, the hostess. Everything is just so organized. It makes it look like, oh wow, like they are living in luxury. It doesn't come cheap, okay? Especially if you're not from here. So don't get me wrong, but these things are on ground for you to pay for and enjoy them. So now I see why a lot of the rich people in my country send their kids to school in Ghana. Because it's like you sending your child abroad and sending your child to Ghana to study is almost the same thing. The only difference is that your child gets more exposure when they go out there outside of africa you know that oh this child have traveled to so so and so country before so so and so continent aside theirs otherwise everything is the same so i like the ghanaian education system i love it even though some ghanaians still come out and find it difficult to get a job which is an african problem that needs to be addressed so but then i like that and then the second, the third thing I like in Ghana is the health sector. The third sector that I really love in Ghana is the health sector because of the health insurance. I don't know how long this is going to last for, but the health insurance thing is just to die for. And the fact that sometimes the education ministry and the health ministry collaborate together, schools would take all their kids all the students to go register for this health insurance uh the only thing they do is just write a letter to the parents tell them yada 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 this is what is expected of you to do should we go ahead you giving them permission to go get your child health insurance done for you just like that it is so fun to live here when you look at that so i like the head sector the only thing i don't like about the head sector public head sector is the manner of approach that the workers gives you. Some of them are really sweet, but the ones that are angry are more. So I'm beginning to think it's an African thing, but for someone like me that comes from Nigeria, where you will see a nurse be so rude, so, so, so rude to a patient, it's not very much of a surprise to me, but it's like, okay, what's the difference? They are twins, yeah. So, but then, Aside that, they are really trying. Giving birth in Ghana, before I forget, is very, very affordable. You know, my, you know, you know, I know, right? <laughs> you know, I've done all these things, right? Uh, so the health sector in Ghana is very good. Okay, my sister had her twins here, and we paid four hundred and five CD as a total bill to discharge her and go home. Four hundred and something CDs. That's my goodness. Please, I'm not saying that money is small, but compared to what it was paid for, compared to the service, it is so, so super affordable. And all pregnant women, be it foreigner or indigent, be it foreigner or citizen, you must register for the health insurance scheme. They make you do it. They put you through the process. They advise you, lead you to where you do it and get it done and have your baby, you know, without spending too much. So right now I may be having like five more kids. Okay. Yeah, because it's affordable. I'm joking. You know, the health is affordable, but education is not except the government schools. Uh, the government schools are quite affordable, cheap. I mean, like free most time, but then life is expensive so i'm joking when i say five more kids okay don't even say amen because i'll come for you so <laughs> these are the public um parasitas that i really love in ghana public sectors that i really love in ghana okay so we'll do this another time when i find something new i am not i don't have a bank account in ghana i do not have my citizen card for now 
I do not have a bank account in Ghana, so I wouldn't know much about the banking here. I wouldn't know much about some things. So the ones I know are the ones I'm sharing. So let me know if you'll be moving. So let me know if you'll be moving to Ghana and you need me to do a video on that. Trust me, I'm gonna get it done. Thank you for watching this one. I will see you in my next one. Ciao, 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 bye.